Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing. And today we're working in Hatch Embroidery software, my favorite software so far. And today we're doing part two, kind of, on images, working with images. On yesterday's video, we talked about good and bad images and what you can do with them. Today, we're going to talk about working with them a little bit. Now, um, the V5 users have, uh, when they buy the program, they get Corel Draw. So you can edit your bitmap images in Corel, and I may do a couple videos on that. But for now, um, the Hatch people, you can buy you know, um, kind of a half version of it for $70. Um, it's Corel, I think, Essentials on 6 and work with that. But you don't have to. You can actually do a couple of really cool things um, in Hatch uh, for cropping. So let's take a look at this picture. And on the last video, I said it's a pretty good one. It's nice and sharp. What if we wanted to do something with it? Well, up here, when you select it, you go up here and you'll be surprised to see all of these options. So we've got rectangular, oval, heart, stars, stars, more stars. Okay, a lot of stars and curve. Let's pick something, let's do something simple. And this little sign here means cropping. So what we're doing is cropping it right inside hatch. Very cool. So you click on it and you get your circle and you want to pull it out and I'm just holding down the left key button and you can move your crop around. Let's see what we can do. Shift, no. Let's just do it like this just to show you. And once you let go, it crops it just like that. And that is your new cropped picture. And if you look here, it's right there. So let's undo that and let's try another one. Okay, let's try another one. Let's go to the heart. And all we're going to do is drag it out. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so maybe I can see what I'm doing. If you guys have auto pan on, that would make it much easier. I find it drives me crazy. So now we have that tool. Did I lose it? Nope. And I'm just clicking and dragging and let go. And look what happens. Right away, you've cropped it. And you can go in. I just clicked on the reshape tool and look, you've got all these nodes to fix it up with. So say for example, you wanted, you know, maybe this a little wider on one side. I don't know why you'd want that, but you can move it. See the arrows here, you can move it and we can move it this way and we can move it that way. And then we can move it, uh, see, I don't like that. What if we wanted to do something like this? And that's selected all of them and move it. Oh, I made it kind of funny right here, but that's okay. We'll put that back just a little bit. And that looks almost better. You can play around with it and you can, I have all those selected. That's why I was doing that. You can play around with it. You can delete nodes. This is, of course, just on the crop. You're not doing anything in embroidery yet. So you can take this here and that's just the center piece. So what do you think of that? Hit enter when you're done. No, hit select when you're done. And there is your new design to work with. So let's try it with a star, just a regular five point star. So click on it and there's our star and it's gonna start at the edge there. So we wanna place it maybe kind of here and pull it out. I just want it off to the side a little bit, maybe a little bit more. How about something like that? Just trying to make it look kind of cool and it's not, you know, the greatest with the heart. But look at that. I just let go and it's perfect. If you want to edit it again, you go to the reshape tool, which is awesome. And if you look here, if you're moving around and you look here and it's hard to see, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Right here, it gets smaller. Right here is a way to move it. So all you have to do is move it. And look at that. That is almost how I want it. It's kind of, you know, a little bit odd, I guess, but um, I kind of I kind of like it. 
So how about like that? And you press, um, just go to your select button and there you go. So you can come up with possibilities beyond belief for this, for just simply cropping. There's quite a few things here you can do, but that is how you crop pictures here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video to let me know you want more videos just like this one. Thanks everyone.